go. Moving on to bout number nine of the night. So next we got Eric Todd coming out. It's another Black House Redondo guy that I've known for years. And uh, I'm really excited to see what he brings. I believe this is his third fight. Fourth fight, excuse me, he's two and one. But man, he's, he's getting better and better. I did a lot of sparring with him in preparation for this fight. And um, he's got some fantastic kicks and he's gotten much, much more comfortable in the striking world. I'm looking forward to seeing how he, how he does tonight. Miguel Jacob does a fantastic job of preparing his guys. So far, Black House has gone 0-2 tonight, but that doesn't attribute to the, the amount of skill that these guys have, because everybody here at Fighters Rep is a killer. And Eric Toch will be fight fighting Santos Sias. So Santos is another uh, Systems Training Center guy. Systems Training Center got a win earlier with Junior Herrera. Uh, he got a decision win over Philip Wong already. So Systems Training Center already has one point on the board. Let's see if Black House is able to get some points right now and get on the board. And this fight, it will be happening at 170 pounds. So again, these are a little heavier guys, so they won't be able to take the shots that the, we've seen the smaller guys land tonight. Absolutely, what's interesting, these are both big guys. Eric Toch st stands at six foot two, and his opponent, Santos Cia, stands at six foot one. So both these guys are huge for their weight class. Not a huge difference in height. It'll be an exciting fight, I'm sure, like the rest of the fights have been on this card tonight. And with the fighter introductions, we're gonna go into the ring to Thor. Tosh, Black House is in the house. in the back and he was laying down reading a book and he said this is the most calm that he's ever been before a fight and I think having a calm and composed person makes for a much better competitor because you're going to be a lot more strategic about your advances and your attacks. As you can see Erich is already coming out testing the range and throwing straight attacks as the longer fighter should. Definitely does look calm in there, looks good, finding his range, good feints. And great head movement by Erich Dodge. Changing leg kicks there. Eric Tots going to that head kick. Both guys have had a little bit of success landing kicks so far. I'd like to see a better setup. Sloss throwing naked kick. Oh, Eric good left closing out after his kick with some punches. Great movement by Tots as well. Absolutely. Stepped back and circled out and got the better angle on his opponent. Oh, good push. Nice kick. straight tee. Tosh, Tosh definitely does look calm, composed in there, executing his game plan. Great movement, in and out, head movement. Hasn't really had a big shot land anywhere besides his legs so far. Let's see oh, good head kick. Landed a nice head kick and got a little overzealous and jumped in. Didn't need any damage on it, but wasn't able to capitalize either. Tosh is doing a great job of his, extending his jab, finding his range here early, throwing feints. He's a long fighter, so by using those straight attacks and the range attacks, it's very wise of him. He's throwing punches in combination. You see, CLS is starting to get a little frustrated throwing one punch at a time, which Tosh. starts to become very easy to counter and predict. Tosh does a great job of sliding just out of the way out of CLS punches and firing his own combination right back. That's the nice thing about being the bigger range of fighters. You can just freeze inside and outside of your range while still being just barely outside of your opponents. Here we go at the end of the first. Let's see who finishes strong. Great first round. Very competitive by both fighters. I'd give that slight edge to Eric Stotch, though. Yeah, he did a great job. Like you said, he looked very calm, very composed, executed his game plan, and I think he got their win in that first round. Absolutely. 
I'd like to see Eric continue to throw straight punches and start closing out some jab, one, two combinations with high kicks now. He's thrown some low stuff, but he had a little bit of success throwing that lead leg kick at the end of a combination. I'd like to see him continue to throw high kicks at the end of his, end of his uh, striking, hand striking combinations. During this break, we'd like to shout out Supreme Michelada Mix, best Micheladas that we know of. Right. Tatcha's corner is looking like they're asking him to set up that head kick now. Landed in the first round. And like you said, he got a little overzealous, hopped into it, but let's see how he uh, executes the game plan this round. Touch of the gloves and we're off round number two here. Eric Toch versus Santos Sillas. So before throwing the head kick for Eric, my recommendation would be to really start establishing his hands so that his hands become a threat. That's when I would start looking for the leg kick, just a head kick. Just coming out and throwing, it won't do it. He's got to start setting it up by making his hands a threat so that he's able to hide that head kick behind his hand combinations. Because you can kind of have your hands up for a head kick, but it's not going to absorb all the damage for a head kick. Even with shin pads and headgear on, it still sucks and can do serious damage. And it does look like Santos is getting a little frustrated here just by the range of Eric Toch. Starting to throw one shot. doing a great job of straight attacks and throwing leg kicks and being able to stay just beyond Salas' range. And you can tell he's getting a little hesitant because every time he steps in, he sees Eric move back a little. So he knows he's going to be outside of range. Salas has to get inside and stay inside. Each time they clash, he goes all the way outside of range again, which puts him in a disadvantageous position. Once he gets in, he needs to stay in and continue to attack instead of clashing and backing out. As long as they're at this range, Eric is definitely in the better position. Yeah, Eric does a great job of moving back, but he also angles out every time. He doesn't go straight back and doesn't get caught on the ropes or in the corner. He'll angle out and he'll circle back to the center. Absolutely. Like I said, Miguel Jacobs has been doing a fantastic job with all the guys at Black House Toronto. Wow. Salas is lucky that that head kick slightly went over his head. It's a good thing they had those shin guards and headgear on that one. He just missed with that head kick. Absolutely, and he didn't even see that coming because Eric had been throwing some hands and going for the leg kick, leg kick, leg kick, where now the head's open. See, that time he covered his head because he thought it was going high, and land Eric was able to land another nice low kick. Salas comes back and throws a low kick of his own. So 10 seconds in the second. He's got, Salas has got to start fighting to get to the inside, though. He's not winning at this range. This is where Eric wants to fight. Yeah, and I'll give that one to Eric Toch again in the Absolutely. second. Absolutely. So that's 2-0 to Toch. Looks like Suyas is gonna need a finish here it's to win this It's still a close one. fight though. It's not like Erich is completely running away with the fight, but if the fight continues in this manner that's been in the last two rounds, Erich, I believe, is gonna win this fight. Salas has to stay inside. Once he gets inside, he's working too hard and taking damage to get in onto the inside. That once he gets in, it just let Erich back out. Or each time they clash, allow that space. He's gotta stop doing that. Shout out to all the Optimal Wellness for helping Fighters Rep make this happen. If you want to help Fighters Rep make this happen, click the link below, buy a t-shirt. All proceeds get reinvested back into the company so we can continue to bring you the best fights in Southern California. All right, and we're going into the third and final round with Eric Toch and Santos Sias. Great Both fighters look respect. surprisingly fresh because they've been going at it. The third and final round. Let's see who's going to get some points tonight. Black House or Systems Training Center? Now what do you think here, Bulletproof? Does Santos need to finish here to pull this one out? I, I believe so. I mean, unless he drops Erich, and I can see it being a 10-8, being a drop. I believe to win this fight, Salas has to, has to finish Erich. Yeah, and I think his it looks corner... looks like Erich is trying to finish this fight, too. Neither guy, both guys want two points tonight. Ah, Boy, spin spinning back kick. Saves it for the third round and lands it pretty nicely. Not extremely flush, but it got up there and got in Salas' head. Now you gotta believe Santos' corner also believes he's down in this fight. They're asking him for more pressure to throw more hands. Well, when they say pressure, they just don't want him here at this range. They don't want him beyond punch range. Because this is where Erich is longer and he's landing. Yeah, and for two rounds now, he's landed the better strikes. Salas has to get inside. Another he's probably used to here. being the bigger, taller fighter, though, being six foot two, so he's probably not used to fighting inside, so I can see why he's he's not naturally, his natural inclination isn't to get to the inside, but he's got to do something different. Boy. If he continues to fight the way he's been fighting the first two rounds, he's not going to win this fight. 
There we go. We're seeing him step forward and have some actual pressure on the inside. He's just got to keep that range once he gets inside. Toch landed a great inside leg kick, one of the first we've seen tonight. A couple seconds ago. Back to that head kick. See, the way that Eric has established his hands now, if he throws like a one-two head kick, you know Santos' hands are going to be high, so whether that kick goes low or high, chances are the kick's going to land. That's what I've been talking about with setting up the kicks. So now that Eric's hands have been established by landing some shots, he's got the availability to close out these hand combinations with powerful kicks, whether it's going low to the legs or high to the head. Yeah. Seems like Eric Toch having some fun here at the third, throwing a bunch of spinning kicks at, in the third round. His jumping switch kick. Last Both guys leaving it all in the ring in the last 10 seconds. All right, another exciting fight here at Fighters Rep 7. Absolutely. I'd have to give that, that fight to Eric. 3 to 0. Eric great Tosh great performance by both guys. I would have liked to have seen uh, Santos trying to adjust a little bit more and try and get to the inside. But he's probably going to end up watching some of this tape and make some adjustments in the future. Great performance, though. He never stopped fighting and coming forward, though. Both. Both fighters, great performance, but like you said, I would have to give that one to Eric Toch out of the red corner. He definitely fought a very smart fight. Absolutely, stayed at his range. I'm sure executed the game plan from his corner to a T, and uh, we think it, it, it got him a W tonight and some points for his team. I believe so, I think Black House got their first points of the night. We'll find out in a second with the official decision. While we wait, we'd like to shout out another one of our sponsors, Freight Masters. We love you. All right, and with the official decision, we're going to go inside of the ring to Thor. decision that I believe is correct. correct. Absolutely. Great fight by both guys. Yep. And uh, again, Black House gets their first points of the night on the board. One point. So right now we got two teams with three points leading. Dionco Williams team and Mark Kamishki. Hey knuckleheads, be sure to smash that like button comment and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to continue to support Fighters Rep.